Hello everyone, Scott from Scott's Recycling. Um, <clears throat> um, don't know really what to say. Uh, other than this is pretty much going to be probably my last load of scrap metal. A uh, couple of brass, copper, sorry copper in there, brass copper radiators, still got to get on board. <coughs> I've got to find, you know, wire. Um, I might have to pull that ribbon wire out of there because I think uh, computer cables like that is a different price to to um, insulated copper wire for 43% I think it's a different price that's not that will be all 43% that's full not a very heavy bin so there's not much there, uh, but up here I've got lots of batteries going all the way around, down through there, probably see some, yep, over there, uh, there's a big heavy boy here somewhere, this bin here has got motors and transformers in, all this is extruded aluminium clean, um, and, and it's mixed through there everywhere. I'm not too sure. I think they call this either old sheet or whatever. But I'm prepared to take um, domestic alley for that. But I've got, um, as you can see, I've got a lot of uh, other aluminium in there that's um, extruded. So I'll have to pull that out. Uh, but this bin's full of extruded. Or extrusion uh, so I've got a trailer frame here that I've cut up it's all in size I've got ironing alley so these computers all that in there that's all alley right all that uh, the covers might be iron screws might be iron but there's no circuit boards or anything in there I've got one two three mowers on board there's more clean extrusion and that bin there uh, I've got some leathers that I could not be bothered pulling all the nuts and bolts out of as you can see right that one there 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 so I'll just take iron alley for it uh, iron alley for that stuff up there um, although no that's got a bit, bit more extrusion in there so there's one two two three that's about four bins of clean extrusion a lot of heavy um heavy steel in there that's out of an alternator so what i do is i, I cut off uh, a few bits there to get the copper out it's not easy i tell you that's a can be a bugger of a job uh, stainless steel sink um, from here from there onwards uh, pressing steel I've got a clean aluminium bumper bar I'm not too sure if these are extruded or whatever because they've got to be made by machine so I would say they're extruded but um, I'm not sure um, stainless steel mixed in amongst all that I don't know if I'm just going to start with pressing because I've got two bits here I've got a bit there and a big bit there because stainless um, I am not feeling well so it might just go for pressing so I might just push all this off from here just push it all off and get it off those pressings who cares you know just make what I can make for pressing still and don't worry about, so much about Ah, uh, so I got that, um, exercise chair up there, that was, uh, not, I've done all this, all this by myself, no one else has helped. Um, 
computers I've pulled down. Uh, barbecue, I took a bit of, I could have taken that bit there of uh, cast deli off, but uh, didn't worry about it. Computer there, computer there, computer there, computer there, Foxtel machine there, I didn't worry about that. They can just go as pressings, that bag's just full of nuts, bolts and so is that tin, oh that's not full but yeah. So I've got clean aluminium radiators there. LOE radiators so I've got um, more heavy steel there uh, they are all this is in size too uh, I cut it down there's a, about a hundred dollars a difference and to me that makes a big difference uh, there's me LME and leather there this is actually extruded they might give me dirty extruded they might tell me to Pull it aside for dirty extruded instead of dirty alley. Um, I'm not sure which one's the best paying one or whatever, but I'm willing to take dirty alley for it because <laughs> that's alley. These motors have got like these whipper snippers have got alley on it. All that's alley head and all, all alley motors. Uh, there's another. Like I said, I think there's three mowers there. None of them got the wheels on them. I took all that crap off that this thing here I think it's an edge trimmer or something to do with gardening it does do something uh, you know <clears throat> I haven't been building that well these days you know I want to try and get all this shit oh it's not shit it's it's money making, but um, yeah, I want it gone. Right, so what? Oh no, I can't. Belts on that. Yeah, I'm all strapped up too, as you can see. None of this is coming off in a hell of a hurry. Now, all this here, that is all alley. I don't really call round pipe um, extruded. I'm not sure if it is. Maybe someone can tell me, I don't know. I'm pretty sure by the way they make those bicycle rims, I'm pretty sure they are extruded, so that's why I've stuck all that together. <coughs> that bin over there is Iron Alley. You can see Cast Alley with iron in the middle of it. Uh, motors in the middle, motors and transformers, and still some alley rims in there as well. It's all clean, the rims. Um, bit of a uh, alley there. I'm just going to throw that in with domestic. I'm not sure what they call that. Uh, that thing out of a fridge. That's just going to go in with domestic. Um, I got fifty-two, three, fifty-three kilo of brass. Where am I going to put it? I can't lift it up there. I am not strong enough for that. I'm kind of hoping I'm breaking every arm and bone in my body and trying to sit it on this wheel and then well, I could tie it there, you know. Um, you know, sort of put the butt, bottom end of the wheel area and lean the rest of it up against the bin. Um, you can tell that's tight. Um, <coughs> copper goodness in those two pins with the blue lid and the green lid. Um, bright and shiny and number two copper wire. All clean. Um... Alley radiators, oh, and the other side I do have, and I've got to get the other wire and those other radiators on. Um, so, underneath this bench is all clean. I did have a big, big esky sitting there, uh, end up going up with water and whole, had a whole heap of shit in there. Um, I don't even know what's in that bag, probably more wires, I guess. Lots of bit. 
<laughs> See? I haven't gone through all of it. That means more cutting plugs off. Getting rid of some more wires. Um, green boards is just sort of like a chip day. I've a um, couple of shower heads there. I'll have to mark them to see if they're brass. I know I've got one in the brass bin like that. That's brass. Uh, those round things are usually brass. That's probably stainless steel in the middle. I don't care about that. I usually get the brass off and just chuck the rest in with pressing steel. Uh, all these, these two bins are done. Um, that's got, I think that's number two, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they call that number two. Those two are empty. What's this one? Oh yeah, um, that's the same copper wire, that's wire, where this is like, um, you know, tube and stuff, it's all stuff that you find, um, and you can tell it's copper because I've hit it with the angle grinder there, see how it's got the... Even that piece there is copper. You can tell there. Copper. So I was thinking about emptying that little bit into a bag. Put the bag in there. Um, this I'm not even worrying about. That's just um, aluminium bindings uh, yeah some money but it's not much at the end of the day um, so up there is pretty clean all the area is pretty clean that's where that sink up there that's where that come from all that's done um, Oh, yeah, I don't have a big pile of them, but, um, so last time when I took in copper aluminium radiators, that was underneath a bench over there, and then I've got a couple of smaller ones down there. Uh, not going to weigh much, uh, like, it's not going to pay much, those three little ones, but, or the big one, but, um, uh, heavy steel there. These blue things, they're usually stainless. Um, I have got a bit of stainless in there. I just don't know if I'm going to be bothered pulling them apart. By rights, I should get all that cord off of there and into a bin. Get that chair up on board. But I see I've used all my ropes now. So I'd have to back something off. That chair there. Last one went for heavy steel, so they're quite thick, those those ones there. Um, I'm not worried about the wire, I need some of them. But, I've been in my shed, I had a whole heap of um, stereo equipment and everything there. I'm not too sure, I think that blue thing there is a battery charger. A lot of tools, circuit boards there. And one, two, three, one, oh no, there's two blue ones down there, I think. Yeah, one, two, no, one. Can't tell if that's one or two. Let's just call it one, one blue one, one black one, that's two. This tub, three. All them loose ones just there. Right, um... Oh yeah, I know, I've got a fridge there, but it works. Uh, so I've got that counting, money counting machine there, I'm not sure if it works or not. Uh, I'm not taking in the alternator, um, I think that does work, 
um, and that will fit the Pajero up the front there. Um, so look, I haven't even I haven't even emptied out any of that, you know. But I want to get this load in. I want to finish up. Oh, that made a bike. I'm not sure what to do with that. There is no room on board for it. Um, I'm pretty sure if I did sit it out the front, someone would take it. Um, so, oh, my coffee's going cold. Um, so, this area, that table was down the back. Yeah, you know, I've got tin now, I can't even get on board. Um, I'm trying to, I just want to get that little bit of wood off of this. Um, it's like a welding table, I think the bloke called it, that I got off. I'm just going to cut those bolts off of it. It's the quickest way out of it. Put that steel frame on the trailer. And bang those bolts out of it. I've already cut my thumb once, so I haven't done it again, right? But I never say so amazed me this was a new pair of gloves about uh, a few weeks, uh, a week ago. No, no, not even a week ago, a few days ago. And just scrap, that's what I mean about scrap metal. Um, they actually started getting like that in the first day. Right, so, yeah, that's pretty much uh, empty that um, cord there is a little way better than what I've got on board and my winch cable so I'm going to use that for a little bit right oh yeah I forgot that wheelbarrow a couple of containers I can get chopped up into the bin oh yeah I was going to stick that stainless steel thing on that hate us in bugger I'm gonna have to do it because um, I'm gonna have to back off one of the straps ratchet straps there's nothing in that there's gas in that I've got to cut up this tire I want to get rid of it cut it up or just take it to the tip there's another one that needs to be taken to the tip I'm not taking that in, in as an alley me and rim because um I just fits the Pachero and got another bad tire on it pretty chunky um decided don't know what to do with that I mean it's pretty bad with that um if someone wanted to they could um put a bit of steel in there and so you've got to have holes at the bottom of your bloody burner anyway. I don't know if you're allowed to burn these days. Well, here anyway. Because, uh, we only got houses next year. Uh, I think that's what the problem is. If you're out on a farm, that's different. You can get away from out there. Uh, the rest of that there is not me. Nothing to do with me. Um, those bits of tin are but they need to stay there to have a big hole on that fence there. Car, I don't know what to do with, like I said, uh, I haven't been feeling that well, so. Five speed proton goes. Um, all this area is still clean. The only thing is, I've got my engine stand um, and my engine lifter. I should have cut it all up and thrown on the trailer. Um, pretty much to be in size anyway I'd only have to cut through one two three four and these two here the bottom pretty much under a meter still still works that's why I haven't cut it up I'm just gonna I'm leaving it there 
whatever. I don't care about it. Oh, me mower, me ride on up there. She goes. And there's a the handle there, a uh, little knob. I think that's brass. Yeah, it's not brass. Uh, I think 53, maybe 54 kilos, 56 with the bin. But even this fire thing. Brass, as you can tell, it's all brass. Um, oh, that's brass. They, they think, I think they call that um, painted brass because some of it looks like that colour. So there's an aerial in there, and I'm not after yellow brass, painted brass will do. And a whole heap of circuit boards in there. Uh, RAM, hard drives, core, uh, over there as well. So, still a bit to do. But when I get those bins, um, cleaned out when I go um, first thing I'm doing is coming back and getting all those circuit boards in those bins that will be just uh, much easier to try and carry right so this area are all cleaned out as well that's only just a normal mower this here this frame thing didn't last too long I don't know what to do with that Those four tyres that look like that uh, will fit on my Holden Cruise out the front. I'm thinking about getting this bed frame thing here down. I don't know. But there is a mattress out the front. I'll take that off and put the mattress on there. big steel pipe could always go to you know cut that up into a motor and a bit of extra weight uh, I don't know if the white dog's going to use that or not but we'll see um, and all this area is cleaned out as well Every Tuesday I try and go hard on trying to get those bins out 
Um, yeah, I know there's a bit of wood in there. It's not a lot of wood, but a bit of wood. Uh, these are just cables that I've stripped all the copper out of. Uh, just other bits and pieces in there. Um, so, I'll clean. Um, Still bits and bobs, you know, they, these four tyres I really should take back out to a farmer. Uh, so there's one, two, three, there's a fourth one down there on the fence, right? Uh, that person gave me their tr um, truck. Uh, good tread. Uh, unless any of you guys that are watching my videos are from Victoria and not too far away from me, these are Road King tyres. I can't, don't ask me what truck they come off, they have got like, one, two, three, I think six, but how wide they are, I don't know. Um, maybe you can use the tyres. What size tyres are they? Because all four tyres are the same, in really good condition. Um, oh, there it is. Two four five line seventy R sixteen. Uh, she does want me to sell them for her, but I haven't had. Look, you can tell I haven't even been on the car. They were on the car, but they haven't been on there for long. Yeah, look. She's actually sticking. So he's actually that bit of rubber there. He's actually sticking above the tyre. So brand new. Four four. So two four five. Uh, uh, line 70 uh, 16 if you're in Victoria Australia in the Gippsland area and you're interested in buying them there's the front of them that's what the front looks like Road King yeah so just let me know um, bit more early for the collection <clears throat> see that tyres the same all four all four are like that I just can't I um, just can't know I can't think of the car they come off Scrap joint today, but uh, yeah, no, I wasn't feeling that well, so I pulled the pin on that.
Oh, what, can, what can you do, guys? You know, people get sick. Kind of uh, hoping, don't know how that's gonna go. Kind of hoping that my prospecting career would take off, but. That's not looking too good either because they've been talking about locking people, or they have been locking people out of gold fields. Um, Not only that, I've, been, <coughs> I've got a sore arm right in the <coughs> right where matches take um, your blood from. I haven't really been doing a lot of uh, heavy lifting because it's pretty much all done. Uh, 
I know where I'm recording what I'm doing. So, give you another look at what's what. Uh, Yeah, so that hater thing behind the shed, I could possibly fit him. Well, I've got that area there, haven't I? But I'll have to back this one up. Oh, there's two. There's two ropes. I could I could stick him right across that ladder. That's where I can put him. Huge load. Another good load. Um, I don't know if that's still or Ellie. Well, must be Ellie because it's not sticking to a magnet and I'll hit it with an angle grinder, as you can tell. Um, so I'll just throw that in as domestic Ellie. Another bit gone. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh guys, I've got to get my head around all this. What else we got? Oh, a bit of stainless by the looks of it. <coughs> or is it steel? Not sticking to a magnet, so it must be stainless. Another battery there. I'm not sure of the outcome with that. I've got rid of a lot of stuff on at the house, but still more to go. Whether or not I can do it or not, I don't know. Um. I've improved it, I guess. Bag of rubbish there to go out. Yeah, so this tree was hanging down over the fence on the neighbour's side, and I mean, it was really hanging down low. Um, no one lives in that house there now. So. This bin here, I want to flatten the leaves down and get a few more leaves in there and get that up the front. I'll do that by tomorrow. It's got to be out there by tomorrow night at the latest. Really, that door and that roof up there all should be pulled down. Should be. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Um, I'll get going. I'll catch us all if I've got any more to do, but uh, I would highly doubt it because um, this is what I'm pro uh, pushing for. It is a big load. I'm pushing for it for a reason. Um, and Yeah. I, just, I thought I might have been able to get it all on board but it's just the press over there <clears throat> no I still in my head in trying to just thinking about it you know but if this ain't a, uh, a good enough job then nothing's gonna be alright guys uh, scotch and scotch recycling out of here. Hope we all have a beautiful day. Bye.